I'm saying our biggest our biggest foreign policy uh, gaffe was with China. Absolutely, 100% with China. Not just with Russia, but but China mainly has been our huge foreign policy fuck up. And not only China, but also, but well, also- that is also like <laughs> yeah, the way we've approached China has been pretty pretty dismal. In fact, there have been a lot of things happening in China that the United States could take advantage of yet fucking fails to every single time. We should. We absolutely should. But the 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 things that I say are huge foreign policy failures is that we're mm -hmm. still in the UN. We're still mm -hmm. in any international organization. I believe it's pronounced views, the UN. The UN. That the views un, yeah. China as a level participant with us. That gives mm -hmm. them the same power that we have, that the UK has, that France has. No. That is bullshit. Absolute garbage. Unless garbage. like you wanna you wanna you wanna and I'm talking about the 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 globalists, neocons, and all this type of stuff. You wanna preserve democracy, you wanna say democracy is what it is. Why are you such bitches when it comes to China? Why are you such fucking Chinese whores that you like lower yourself and bend because... over and get fucked by them? Okay, so this is the one thing I think everybody needs to remember. Uh, whether you are a Republican or Democrat, if you are in power and you're part of the establishment, which is most politicians right now, you are pro big business. Okay. Pro big business means you are for open borders and Jay big. This is a really key part. You are getting so much fucking money, uh, so much fucking lobbying money from these corporations, global corporations, no longer American corporations. Those don't exist because they're global. Almost all their manufacturing is done in China. All their global headquarters left the United States because they don't want to be taxed uh, like at 35, 40, 50, 45% anymore. So where do they go? They move all China. their shit up overseas and they move it to places like China. So what happens? All that money that's going into all of these republic, these neoconservative Republicans, neoliberal Democrats, they are buying influence. And, you know, I probably answered my own question earlier. Why aren't we taking why aren't like why isn't the United States taking advantage of, uh, you know, all these Chinese uh, um, follies like, you know, they're having they're going through like a really bad economic spell right now with all of these banks crashing uh it's because real estate our government, companies crunching yeah yeah big yeah, yeah real estate companies thank you uh it's because our government is fucking co-opted by the chinese by the chinese communist party uh right you joe we it goes all the way to the top we all know about joe biden we all know about all the deals that he's done through his son hunter yep. that's why his laptop was such a big deal and the fact that it was it was uh basically uh, squashed by them squashed fucking and, mainstream and, and media. basically swept under the rug makes it and all the more troublesome that when this shit's media. coming out now with the FBI saying, oh, we actually, you know, it's legit. We did forensic, uh, a forensic audio on this shit. And then we turned out and fuck the FBI, fuck them straight in the face. All they want to do is find white people who supported or may have cast a ballot <laughs> for Trump <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then throw uh, them uh, in a cell. That's all they want to do. That's what they do, and they egg them on, and then they give them resources and stuff, and then be like, "Hey, hey, they you literally really do this, they, dude. Do they literally and money go do it, and they bro, like caught you." So, they fuck. literally orchestrated. They invented a kidnapping plot of Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan in twenty twenty. Right. That was there was no interest from any of the people who are like patriot you know you know part of this like patriotic group in michigan to kidnap gretchen whitmer the fbi had to fucking invent it they literally went nine post 9 11 like in uh terrorist entrapment op on a bunch of patriotic groups because they couldn't they couldn't pin anything to these people so they right. or they uh, so and that's why and if you've been following what's been happening in michigan with that like they haven't been able to pin any like or like convict any of these people involved in this like supposed kidnapping ring because it was a fucking op. It was all yeah. a fed, fed op. It was. And and the fact that, well, I mean, but uh, to China, the UN mm -hmm. and, the, and the foreign policy is like, if you're really pro-democracy and all that kind of stuff, you will defund the UN. You will, you will back out of the UN and you will take every one of the allies out of it until China fucking, you know, plays, plays game. You, yeah. you, you, you cannot trade with China under fair, uh, fair trading. You can't. They 
They tariff the shit out of American products that we ship to them. They fucking tax the crap out of it and, they, and all that kind of stuff. How is that a fair level, level playing field? It's not. And the fact that we just play into it and play into it and play into it just fucks everything up. We need to sanction the shit out of Microsoft, Apple, all of these places that do dealings with China. You want to you have a right. factory in China? Perfect. We're going to tax you 136%, you motherfuckers. We are going to take, yeah, we're going to fuck you up until you understand that dealing with these people is absolute bullshit because we are, our tax dollars and our money that we go into these products is doing nothing but subjugating people that we, we pretend to say that we're against. We say never again. We say all of this bullshit while we're funding it. We are absolutely funding it. So when people like, uh, CNN and people like Liz Cheney and people like uh, dumb fuck blue checks in New York Times want to get up here and say that Jan 6 was the worst thing to ever happen to democracy. I say, fuck you. Absolutely fuck you because none of that fucking matters when you're tweeting it from your iPhone. It's it's absolutely insane. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. Like, every single thing that we are using right now, if not, if it wasn't made in China, it at least has parts made in China. Like every look, especially like the worst part about it is when they say it's like oh made in America, but then you like look at the fine print and it says like made assembled, in China, assembled, yeah, in America. assembled in America. <laughs> like, yeah, that's China. the thing. And again, like that's one of the things because, like uh, as I said, we're the establishment is so pro big business uh, that they lose. I, not only do they lose, but I think a lot of people stand to lose by say the United States and book. This is why China, like they're you know the Chinese Communist Party, you got you got to give credit to them. The fact that they basically centralized all of the manufacturing to their to to within their borders, um, and obviously subjugated their people to basically slave labor, created a social credit system. Which, by the way, I, I feel like we should dive into the social credit thing in in just a moment, but. Uh, the fact that like they are able to get away with all of this and not even get like a wag the finger like you get nancy pelosi going to taiwan uh and the chinese communist party the the government threatens her and says uh we're gonna shoot down your plane if you enter Taiwan and then White House comes in and says ah <laughs> nah, that's not no nah. they, they you know they completely like dismiss that shit they're like nah no no you well, know, what, they should have, what they should have said what they should have said is we're gonna do whatever the fuck we want you motherfuckers fuck you that's what they should have said I honestly that would have been the best letterhead if if I'm president, that's what it would be. I'd be like, China, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. This is my foreign policy against China. Every fucking Chinese CCP citizen in the United States gets deported today. Day one. That's day one when I become president. Is day one, every CCP Chinese citizen is deported. We absolutely <laughs> condemn and close our fucking shit on China. I will bring every one of our allies towards like closing off China and we can do it. Look what we did to Russia and we get the fuck out of the UN and create so our own with China. Jay, your solution is fucking obviously Jay, your, your, soli fucking your, soli your solution is obviously far uh more humane than FDR's policy, which was basically sending them all to internment camps, and that was the Japanese. No, no, not internment camps. No internment not, camps. None you of that kind of shit. literally, Jay. You were literally you will you will pass an Inflation Reduction Act, but really, it's basically buying airline tickets for all the Chinese citizens to get the fuck out. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's that's what I would that's what I would put funding for towards, and I'll and I'll I'll just sign an executive order because fuck Congress and just send it out because they're all paid by China. And the Rory. thing is, what people don't understand, what they don't understand is that the Chinese intelligence agency is fucking wide. It's wide. Chinese children 
and Chinese uh, and Chinese CCP and and I'll say Chinese CCP just so I can differentiate between the two and that sound whatever the 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 Chinese CCP from when they are born they are raised to understand that their life their knowledge their whatever their information whatever they can get is to serve the CCP that's called brainwashing yes so when you have CCP students come to the United States when you have them gain uh, jobs within American companies, that's corporate F espionage, and they all do it, and they all mm -hmm. steal, and they all give it to the CCP. Mm -hmm. When you have them actually go get into government uh, government uh, uh, positions, they're there to steal and send it off to the CCP. Any CCP nationalist Chinese person in the United States needs to be deported right now. We are absolutely and obviously we're ourselves. talking. We're not talking about Chinese Americans, obviously. You know, Asian Americans, Chinese Americans, particularly I, people who are born in this country, who uh, who, uh, as I as as almost like the test of every single person who becomes a citizen in the United States, you have to take obviously the a, a, a citizens a citizen's test, a, a civics test, you know, pass, you know, have like fundamental knowledge about this country. You have to embrace the ideals of this country. You know, the ideals are like wide and vast, of course, but like, obviously like the fundamentals are like being pro-freedom, being pro-liberty, like lay, laying people, you know, laissez-faire, let people just, 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 just don't fuck with people. That's all you need to do. You don't need to fuck with people. You know, if, if, if the government, like everything, if you look, look, I feel like we could boil down the civics test for uh, potential U.S. citizens to one question. Do you think the COVID lockdowns were justified? Yes or no question. <laughs> if they say, if they say yes, get the fuck out. They're deported immediately. <laughs> right. And, and, and that's, that's the thing that people need to understand as well. Like how much influence that the CCP and the CCP intelligence have that we are not even daring to criticize China on the fact of how COVID was released on even, uh, um, um, what's it called? Uh, just, just, just saying that we want to uh, investigate where where uh, COVID um, uh, came from, originated yeah. from. They don't even they they're too scared to do that. Yeah, because people in their own that, government that, are too scared to do that. They say that shit. Remember after like that shooting in Atlanta at like the Asian spa, and they said, "Oh, this is an act of anti Asian uh, uh, violence." You know, they, they specifically went out of their way to target you know, Asians and, and hold them account, you know, basically blaming them for COVID. Literally the did the dude could not get his dick dick rubbed at a massage parlor. And so he basically brought a gun. That's what it, that's what the fuck happened. They, they, they couldn't get it. You know, they call it happy endings for a reason, Jay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't get if you do not give a man a happy ending, what else are you expecting to get? Uh, Jay, what's the opposite of a happy ending? uh a grenade in your ass exactly so that's what exactly happened in atlanta and so they yeah, called it, it they, and then they and they conflated that shit they conflated it and said we can't question the origins of the coronavirus because this tragedy happened in atlanta it's so stupid it's so stupid and you had nancy pelosi and and it's great that she went to taiwan but you had her go 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 to go to chinatown Go, By the way, go Jay, eat soup. Yeah, in yeah go eat soup. We protect. We, you know, we we we, we protect mo we, mommy milkers. We, we protect mommy milkers at all costs. We okay? protect mommy milkers. We are not. We are not pro Pelosi, but we are pro mommy milkers. We'll just say it right there. We protect the mommy milkers. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to to China and uh, Pelosi going to Taiwan, um, we are team mommy milkers. So. Absolutely, one hundred percent. I mean, Essential. we are anything to give it to China. I'm, I'm all for, it, and I will support them. Absolutely. Absolutely. The thing that is the most, the most, uh, th the, 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 the biggest threat to the United States is China and their influence. 
Is China and their influence in our tech companies, our social media company companies? I mean, even Elon Musk is a fucking bitch to China. He, he is. is. He is a bit. He is he a big is a, bitch. He is a in big fact, CCP I think, bitch. I think it's actually kind of fascinating how many people have turned on Elon Musk in in, in the last few months. Uh, even with this Twitter deal, I guess I don't even know if it's still going through. But the fact that like he's Not. he's he's kind of tweeted some questionable shit. Um, oh no, absolutely. And most most of the CEOs, uh, like uh, Ford CEOs, Disney CEOs, uh, ESPN, all of these people who are woke as fuck, who are like you know uh, marginalized people, this and racist that, and blah blah blah. They will get on their fucking knees and suck Z's dick all throughout all throughout the their existence. They will do that. While they're trying to lecture us, it's sick as shit. That's the only, like, that is the main thing that you can hit on. That's the main thing. When Washington Post, New York Times, Disney, uh, ESPN, all of these people try to lecture you on shit, tell them to stop sucking China dick, and then maybe we'll listen to them. Yeah. I mean, it's it shouldn't be that hard, Jay. I mean, <laughs> hard. But speaking of hard, oh, God, that's oh not the God. one I was looking for. Where is no. it? Where's where's those milk? Cups? Where is it? We need to see those. Milk there we go. There it oh. is. Ah, oh. oh. it really cleanses my palate right there. Honestly, that's that's the America. That's America's cleavage. That's um. Those are America's titties right there. That is America's tits. That is. <laughs> we paid for those. <laughs> we the taxpayer funded titties are right there. Uh, Jay. Um. I mean, it's gonna be a sad day when those titties expired. <laughs> I, I, you know, honestly, Jay, I have to say, if there is a uh, what's it called, if 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 Pelosi is an organ donor, um, I hope a uh, someone, someone fortunate enough, is lucky uh, enough to get uh, a pet, you know, be donated those mommy milkers. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, what, what was? What... <laughs>